Hello there. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to determine the upper and lower control limits of an X bar chart when we're given the process or population standard deviation. This question corresponds to supplement problem 6.1 in your text. Our data is very simple here. We have boxes of organic flakes are produced to contain 14 grams with a standard deviation of 0.1 gram. Our requirement is to set up the three sigma X bar chart for a sample size of 36 boxes. The first thing we'll note is we are provided with the standard deviation in this question. However, we have to make sure that we correctly interpret which standard deviation we have. This standard deviation is just sigma, which is the population or process standard deviation, not the standard deviation of the sample means. Because when we're given a standard deviation, we can use the following formula, where the upper control limit is equal to x bar bar plus the number of standard deviations, or z, times the standard deviation of x bar, which is the means. And the lower control limit is x bar bar, which is the average of the averages, or the total means, minus z times the standard deviation of x bar. But again, the standard deviation we have is just sigma. So here is where we go and calculate the standard deviation of the sample means to be equal to the standard deviation of the population divided by the square root of n, or the sample size. So with our data, that is equal to 0.1 divided by the square root of 36, which equals 0.1 over 6, or 0.0167. You probably want to keep your work in your calculator to four decimal places when we're dealing with statistical process control. So now we can finish calculating the upper and lower control limits. So we know that x bar bar is 14 grams. So the upper control limit is equal to 14 plus. We want a three sigma control chart. Remember that three sigma just means three standard deviations. So z must be equal to three. So we're going to add 3 times 0.0167 will give us an upper control limit of 14.05 grams. And then the lower control limit is 14 minus 3 times 0.0167. And that will give us an LCL of 13.95 grams. Translating this into what a control chart would look like, we would have a dotted line at... 14 grams, and then upper control limit at 14.05, and a lower control limit of 13.95. And that's what our X-bar control chart would look like when we're given a population or process standard deviation. 